Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California. This episode number 331, yes, 331 episodes and still going. And I'm so happy about the weather, people. It's been so nice. It's been cool for September. Just amazing. So welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. Sorry we missed you yesterday. I was helping my daughter move to her new apartment in beautiful, uh, I think it is Westwood by UCLA. And she's happy. I'm happy. But she's still with us. She came home with me last night because her mattress takes two days to, because they ship it to her, takes two days to to remember its actual size. So I hope this mattress has no memory loss or anything so we can enjoy it. Let's invite our friends from the other side. Come on, our friends from the other side. These people, you'll never know who they are. I don't even know who they are, but they're here and they're watching and they want to be included in our lovely uh, show that we start and I'm so happy about, uh, let's see. Okay, okay, all right, let's see, what do we got? How can we include them? Here we go, they're included now. All righty, let's see. I'm so happy about this show because there's so many people that I don't even know about and some big name people are watching the show. Big name, I mean, we're all big names, we're all the same in God's eyes, but big names in the industry, in the Christian market, in the field, in the, in the church, so praise God. So let's see who is joining us today. Sarah, how are you? Come on, everyone. Rita is here from Nashville. Michael Ramirez from Azusa is here. And let's see, Beverly Wicks is from uh, Beverly. Beverly is from California. And Becky Ottenberry, Louisiana. Hope uh, the electricity is back in New Orleans. And this Ida is gone. Ida has disappeared. Ida is turning into just a little breeze. All right, Debbie Malone is here. Hello, Debbie Malone. Michael, come on in. Uh, Alan Goodwin, how are you, my beloved friend? Becky Voss from Washington State, 3 plus 3 equals 1. We just confirmed that we will be, I will be, at Christ the King Church, the huge church in Billingham, Washington, on um, October 29th. And I will be at the Rock Church in Monroe, Washington, on the 31st, morning service. So if you're in the state, come join us. Uh, let's see, Brent here from South Dakota, funny comedian. Okay, and Rita is from her mother. Okay, let me let me get this here. I am, not, remember when we started, uh, I was telling you I was gonna try some vitamins because this company is called Professional Bio, um, Botanicals which been around for 40 years and they've just been, you know, Robert Redford and all these famous actors take it. Now all these doctors take it. It's a very nice and natural vitamins that kind of works with your stem cell system and it's called adaptives, adaptive uh, ab adaptation, which means it adapts to your body and your needs and it works on all these anxiety, blood pressure and all that. I got to tell you, is my blood pressure down yet? No. I told them they said it takes months or two months to get it. Okay. Am I feeling better? Yes. Am I having a lot more energy? Yes. Yesterday I spent the whole day with my daughter having energy. So uh, is that working for me? Yes. Am I focused with that? What do you call it? The brain uh, focus uh, pills. I am very focused uh, with that. So am I going to say yes to them yes i am actually today they gave me a website where if you want to buy the vitamins you can take them now if you never take in the vitamins let me tell you this is vitamin d you take this twice a day after every meal this one is really good for your mood uh, this one it includes the other vitamins called nuts and raisins and this one you take this probably three times a day as needed I don't want to tell you different people have different needs, but this vitamin D is really, really good for you. It's good for your bones. It's good for your stomach. It will increase the size of your stomach. So it's really good for you. We all want to stretch our stomach. So this is good. 
This one really is good for your blood sugar. It's not really good for your blood sugar, but it's good for you, you know. So if you're diabetic, I'm not a physician again. I cannot recommend anything. But if you're a dietitian, <laughs> this one. <laughs> see, if I call now, <laughs> I don't need to tell you about the rest. Uh, this vitamin E, you rub this on your tongue every morning. You rub this on the tongue and chew a little bit and you will feel good the whole day. This one. This one's really, you can use it as an IV, you can use it as a whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to do with it. Suppose, I, I can't say the word suppository, but you can do, this one you can take throughout, if you feel tired or you feel hungry, this one is really, once you eat the whole bar, you're not going to be hungry. I can guarantee you that. And this last one, this last one, for you guys at night where you feel, I watch live with Nez and I'm craving chocolate. Instead of eating chocolate, you eat this, the whole bar. I guarantee you, you'll feel good. You might not sleep at night, but that's okay. That's not the reason all these fight. So these vitamins are all available to you people at the wonderful price of $150 a month because you're going to eat five bars a day. No, really, let me tell you. These are the vitamins I'm taking, and this is, I'm telling you, if you're ready to buy them, and you go, look how it is. These are the main ones that you need to take, and these are called, okay, adopt, adopt a stem, and the other one is called immune, cyst, immune stem. These are the main ones that you really need, and they come with an extra one called the Relaxol. So if you take these three, this is good for your whole day. This is the best vitamins I've taken in my life. Honest, God is my witness, these are the best ones. It feels so natural, so good, wonderful energy. Here you go. These three, they work with everything in your system. This one, I ex uh, different. I take this called mental clarity. That works for me. Two pills a day. I'm clear. I don't have ADD anymore. I'm focused on my work. I'm focused on my de on whatever I'm doing. Yesterday, I put two beds together. So, if you want to buy this, there's a website that was given to me that you can use and. This is Nas. This is unusual. If you're first time with us, I've never done this before. I've never said, oh, go buy this. But I'm telling you, this is working. And let's see. Where's the website where you can take it? Here we go. Uh, how can I get you the website? Yes, I can get you the website that was sent to me. And it is right here. And you can use it to save. It's normally they're they're hundred fifty dollars. These are these are vitamins that doctors use. So it's not it's not your GNC, it's not your Walmart or Costco. These are good ones that you use. So if you want to buy them, they're ninety nine dollars. If you use my website, not my website, my link. All right, that's it. All right. Now, if you want these vitamins. I guarantee you they're available at your local market. Just don't mention my name when you buy them. Or don't mention, okay. All the opinions given in this show are just my own. They are not advice. They're not, I'm not a medical person. I only, I have a CVS card to save 10% on my purchases. That's the only thing that's related to medical thing with me. Okay. So when you want to move, uh, let's talk about moving. My daughter want to move there, you know, wanted to move. Yes. When you want to move, which friends do you think about? Think with me. Let's say you have to move and you have to do it yourself. Who do you think? You think of the young, healthy, handy with bigger vehicles, right? Those are the ones you go for. When you ask, you always make it seem less work than it is. Is, is it true? When you ask someone to help you move, you go, ah, I don't have much stuff. It's just, it's just my house. And maybe, maybe if we have time, we'll do the garage. Okay. But you never mentioned the fridge or the safe or the, you know, the other stuff, the other machines. But the older the person, the heavier the stuff they have. So if an 18-year-old or a 20-year-old asks you to help them move, do it. If a 50-year-old or a 40 to 50-year-old or 60, don't do it. Don't do it. Because they have, a, they have a fridge. They have a safe. They have a Stairmaster. They have all their books from college. They have the tires from the sports car that they used to own. They have 20 pieces of luggage. And they have the last two old computers you feel bad given, they felt bad giving away. Your hobby collection, your bike, all the paintings you acquired, 
And of course, something you never owned when you were 20, lawn furniture. If you're over 30, 40, you have lawn furniture. This is all stuff. So don't help anybody over 20 because college students, they're the easiest to hold move. All they have is a pillow and 20 chargers for their electronics. That's all. All you have to do is spend your time entangling. That takes all day, but that's all you need. I have a hard time moving Adra. <laughs> Sounds like a marriage issue. Uh, uh, speaking of, uh, I'm unhealthy. Nobody calls me for help. Strong guys with trucks. That's exactly what you look for. All right. Uh, let's see. Last night I asked you the question. Give us a bad name for a marriage counseling service. Give us a bad name for a marriage counseling service. This is what you guys came up with. Number 20, she's always right. Number 19, how to lose your house in 30 days, marriage counseling. Number 18, oh well, you tried. Number 17, lost causes. Number 16, learning when to shut up and anger management <laughs> counseling service. Number 15, untie the knot. Number 14, talk is cheap, community property is everything. <laughs> Number 13, 70 times 7, brilliant one. Number 12, Rose Bushes Are Us, Marriage Counseling Service. Number 11, NRA. <laughs> Number 10, Cheaters and Beaters. Number 9, Quicksand Marriage Counseling. Number 8, Unequally Yoked. Number 7, Mending Marriages and Burial <laughs> Plot Services, Marriage Counseling. Number 6, Three Strikes You're Out, Marriage Counseling. Number 5, I Did But Now I Don't. <laughs> Number 4, Spade and neutering service, <laughs> marriage counseling. Number three, last chance marriage and organ donor counseling. <laughs> number two, to have and to scold, marriage counseling service. And the number one, worst name for a marriage counseling service, I identify as happy. <laughs> Good job, guys. That was funny. Jack, Pastor Jack, welcome. And Matthew, my phone is acting up. I'm sorry. Michelle Van Dusen is here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nobody asked me to help them to move anymore because I always bring a gas can and a lighter. Oh, no. Brent and Audra fast track to divorce court <laughs> marriage counseling. We got a bit, a tiny bit of rain a few days ago, but we really need more. The whole West Coast does. Yeah, it was just like dropping like just little ones really bad we need some rain but you know what the weather has been good it's been in the what uh low 80s here in corona i love an equally yoked who came up with that one it's from this guy what's his name my mom told me to put it there my mom told me the guy from azusa yeah that's him the one that eats and falls asleep during the, m the middle of the show and then <laughs> we have to wake him up to bring him back anyway uh, here's your question for today. It came from Chris Rosetti. Give me the worst name or a slogan for an outdoor sportsman shop. Worst name or slogan for an outdoor sportsman shop. Let's see. Who can do that? Worst name or a, or a slogan for an outdoor sportsman shop. Naz is just trying to provide to draw to provoke me to jealousy with all that chocolate. Told you to send me your address, you did not. And yeah, they're gone by the minute. Don't know if I can stay, nothing coming through. Oh, sorry, Matthew, try again. Shut your phone, turn it back on. Sn stinkers, <laughs> that's good. Miss the mark, that's good. Kill him and chill him. <laughs> good one, Becky. Oh, let's see. It's from scripture <laughs> and from Azusa too, from Michael Ramirez. Naz, you warned me that you were going to talk about chocolate. <laughs> I did, but you didn't say you'd show any. <laughs> hey, you know, count it all joy, joy and when you fall into various temptation, knowing the testing of your face will produce endurance and calories. Hey, I don't add to the word of God, but Michelle said best pro. <laughs> Okay, Naz, you already have my address, remember? Oh, that's, do I? I do? I think, yes. Michelle Van Dusen said, Bass Pro, Jocks are us. <laughs> Christian Reeves, welcome back. It's been a while. 
hookers. <laughs> that's what we're talking about fishing here, people. H O O K E R. That still sounds bad. The same. It spells bad. <laughs> okay. You know those are hooks and sink. <laughs> Watch your plural, Mr. Brent. <laughs> Br broadside of barn. Broadside of barn. Jenna Christian, hi Jenna, welcome first time. You whack him and we pack him. That's funny. <laughs> Jenna, just let us know what city and state you're at. That's all we asked. Hum, I'm pretty sure you have our address. I do. Okay. All right. Let's see. Better luck next time. <laughs> Target. That's good. Michael, Michelle, Matthew. Stupid sunstorms. That's. <laughs> Shoot them. <laughs> Checking in. Uh, Frank, how are you? The question is, worst name or slogan for an outdoor sportsman shop at As You're Thinking. Remember, every 15 minutes, we, s we hydrate and share. So it's hot. Drink some water and share this show. All 87 of you. Oh, it is good. Go ahead and share this and drink some water or whatever your favorite beverage is. Uh, Non-alcoholic beverage, I must add. I hope you're not drinking and watching this show. Well, if you are, we're fine. We just, we hope you hear the end of the show. We'll pray for you. Something fishy going on in here. Oh, so now Naz spiritualized <laughs> waving the chocolate. Mm hmm I did. Bakersfield, California. Hello, Jenna. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the show this last Sunday in Bakersfield. Thank you so much. Uh, normally our show starts with comedy. I don't try to sell you on chocolate or vitamins, but they're going to be a sponsor of the show. So I just wanted to try it for two weeks and it worked. So I'm sharing my findings. And this Tuesday I'm going to have the, the doctor, the guy that owns this company, Dr. Malay, will be on the show so if you have any questions about any ailment or what's the best vitamins or what's the best natural stuff to take for certain ailment have your questions ready on my podcast at 6 30 p.m this tuesday he will be with us all righty let's see loaded wagons fishy lured away swamp people are us where the dead bodies <laughs> live bait <laughs> Thank you, Becky. I don't sanitize no more, Naz. We don't, you don't have to just drink the water. Shot through the buck. <laughs> Losing points. My mom is here. Port a Jones boats and tackle. <laughs> Port a Jones. Port a Jones boat and tackle shop. Racks and reels, right. Jerks. <laughs> We're still talking fishing people. <laughs> Mrs. Scala, can you get me discount on vitamins? I already gave you the link for the discount. A new outlook on an outhouse. <laughs> That's funny. Loaded and exploded. Dead heads. <laughs> Rod and fill. <laughs> That's right. Ammo for my deer hunter. Get it, deer hunter? Good evening, Mama <laughs> Thank you, guys. Alrighty. Set line and buy. <laughs> Dead dynasty, right? <laughs> Instead of duck dynasty. Dead dynasty. If you can read this, you're in range. <laughs> we are two tenths. Oh, that's right. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, I, I'm mistaken. I really apologize. This question came from Rita, not from Chris. Chris sent me some stuff today, but this is from Rita. And this is what she came up with. We are two tents. We hunt mother-in-laws. Camping gear can double when the missus puts you out. <laughs> All right. Three house rug emporium. <laughs> the deer can still see you. <laughs> All right. Paul watchers. Again, we're still talking hunting, people, <laughs> and fishing. The, the pole is what we're talking about. It's a fishing pole. 
Good old boys supplies. That's funny, Debbie. Buckshot bait. We cash paychecks here. <laughs> Yes, because some guys spend so much time at the sports, they don't have any money left for support. Get it? Sport and support, they go together. We will, we will hunt you. That's good, Michael. Cold shoulder, smell like deer here. <laughs> Dolores is here from beautiful Louisiana, and they are safe. Ida, the mean one, is gone. Guns, liquor, and ammo. <laughs> All right. Buck, buck, goose. Under the mosquito net. <laughs> the buck stuck here. <laughs> Doesn't stop. It's stuck. All righty. Give me worst name or slogan for an outdoor sportsman shop. The buck stuck here. Dynamite fishing supply. <laughs> Bambi's last stand. <laughs> Bambi's last stand. Oh, Tracy O'Neill Cattle, welcome back. Animal love hate relationships. You'll never catch anything, but you'll look like you can. Dear Musk, wild game players. My phone is not letting me in. I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, oh sorry about that, Matthew. Bambi and Nemo's outdoor shop. Ask Dory for prizes. Dead aim hunting, fishing, and marriage counseling. <sighs> oh man. Not worth the price. Free range game supplies. Worst name for an outdoor sportsman shop. Or even a slogan. Here, I have a story for you. It's story time with Naz. Okay, one time I was at this uh, event and this guy invited me to have one of the deacons or something invited me to his house afterwards. So I go to his house and he's an avid hunter and fisherman and he does all the, he does taxidermy. So when I walked into his house, I don't think he was a deacon of the church. No, 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 no. He was not from the church. It was someone that, you know, a fan that invited me because he doesn't go to a protestant church so he invited me to his church uh, to his house huge big house and i walked in there and he and i look and he has all these deer heads and moose and turkeys all taxidermists all this stuff mounted in his walls on his side stuff all the, you know he has these ferrets everything and he goes nazareth everything in this house you see I shot myself like wow so I'm looking I'm walking from room to room and then I get in the room and he has a statue of the Virgin Mary holding baby Jesus I'm like you shot her <laughs> I don't know just thought it was funny well back to our outdoors man that was my story time fish hooks and body piercings that works gun free zone sports person shop Sight is off. Have fun. Bug and mother-in-law repellent sold here. Hairy one-eyed shooting shack. Animal murders. Free range game supplies. Hmm. Not worth the price. Worst name or slogan for an outdoor shop. Kermit the frog giggling supplies. Bloody me. <laughs> oh no. All right, let me change the question on you people. All right, I don't want to take you outdoors too long. So the question is right now, give me some excuses why you quit your job. Excuses why you quit your job. Okay. This guy's packing, uh, packing his desk, if you can see it. 
Fish hooks and body piercing. Dave Evert is here from Illinois. Hello. Uh, let's see. Shot through the heart. A run and hide hunting supplies. You can run and hide for now, but eventually your hide will be on our wall. <laughs> <laughs> then a statue of the Virgin Mary. He better not <laughs> shut her. Jesus would not be pleased. Nope. Build a bear taxidermy and sportsman. That's funny. <laughs> Buy your cats here. Furs are us. Excuses why you quit your job. I'm allergic to work. Stimulus checks. That's true. They expected the results. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a potential spam right now. Why not answer it? Hello? Hello? Yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, is this Nazareth? Yes, speaking. How are you doing? Just a quick call. Uh, I'm Steve May, like the month of May. Oh. And I'm, with the I'm with the Vegas Stronger Group. They're just celebrating the reopening of the Las Vegas Strip. When they invite you and a guest of yours as a VIP guest of ours to come on out. I think you might be coming out to Vegas next three years. We have some super deals if you are. Uh, you know, I'm booked for the next three years, maybe after that. You're booked for the next three years? Yes, yes. O okay, and maybe we'll see you then. Wait, uh, what kind of offer do you have, because Mr. May? Okay, it's uh, four days, three nights, any time over the next three years. Oh. The only blackout date is New Year's Eve. Oh, I can't come for New Year's Eve? I'm afraid not. You ah. Know, New Year's Eve. I know. Okay, Any event, not just, two, two weeks are you not being specific, Mr. May? What do you mean, any event? Which, which event? No, 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 I said two weeks in advance. Oh, and, and so after three years, in the next three years, I call you two weeks in advance. Okay. Whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready to come. Okay, when I'm ready, uh, When you're ready to come, uh -huh. you got three years to decide when you want to come. So I should call you in three years? Are you going to be at the job, Mr. Maid? He hung up on me. This was normal. Eh, I normally have more fun, but this guy was so business. Sorry about that. Okay. May the odds forever be with your hunting supply. I got fired first. I had to stay up too late every night to hang with Naz on laughter for all. That's why you quit your job. Never did got fired. Lottery. Too much work. What job? I'm eight. <laughs> I'm eight. <laughs> that's, that's why you quit. Because I don't want to work. The time clock is off. <laughs> because I don't want to work for my wife anymore. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> they never unlock the door. Too much responsibility. <laughs> wow, what an offer, Nez. Are you going to play Vegas? Maybe after three years, but not now. <laughs> Nez, play the creepy laugh in the fo Oh, man, I should have done that. I should have done that. This is hilarious. Booked for the next three years. <laughs> I'm loving it. This is awesome. I'm glad you guys are having fun. Oh my goodness, this is great. Because <laughs> I was telling marketing I could not <laughs> convince a Christian to come to Vegas. I was going to go that route, Brent, but it didn't work. Because Mr. <laughs> May called me with a wonderful offer. That's why. <laughs> I quit because a comedian answered the phone when I was trying to sell him a Vegas timeshare. <laughs> I love it. How you guys jumping? Oh, thank you. <laughs> they kept referring to me as a volunteer. <laughs> Loitering much more th thought provoking. <laughs> you are funny, Jenna. Thank you for joining us. You never should have called Naz, right? <laughs> he hung up on me. I know. I was ready to go in three years. Shoot, the guy wasn't even, he just didn't give me any information. Like, okay, I want to go in three years. Just have to call us two weeks in advance. But did he leave a phone number? He didn't, did he leave a phone number? Because I want to go in three years. Shoot, I know in three years I will lose my faith, I will backslide, and I would go to Vegas and play. Let's see if he left a number. Potential spam. Las Vegas, Nevada. Seven two five. Should I call him back now? 
No, he wasn't that. He wasn't one of those. He didn't have a heavy accent. If he had a heavy accent, I would have played. Hey, Sheree from Vegas. Had to quit my job because made too much money and I didn't think I was with it. Oh, <laughs> what an honest person you are. It's 9 o'clock. Speaking of honesty, let's drink some water and hydrate and please share. Or 89 people. I didn't ask you anything, Siri. Why would you be sorry? You're always apologizing. I'm sorry I didn't hear you. I'm sorry I can't find it. I'm sorry I don't understand you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't need no sorry, you know, technology, artificial intelligence that is insecure. You should have been fired, Siri, because you're always your sorry. If I do that to my boss, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'd be fired. But I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I'm sorry, I can't get you the number. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, I'm sorry too. Sorry, because hey, <laughs> because it hurts to think. That's how. That's a good reason to quit. The stake calls after Nas does stake calls after all. <laughs> I like. I took the job and shoved it. That's why they he quit. The caller was John Scala. No, John is at church right now. Thursday night. My kids at church. Worth not with <laughs> Mr. May and he may not. He he may not give me the number. No paycheck. What if he was with the mafia? Like what if he's like the head of these the hotels and find my number? Didn't do so good as a telecommunicator. <laughs> All right, Mr. May. I mean Catherine Allen. I like sleeping in and I was told to be there by 10 a.m. That's too early for you, Tracy. I have an assistant that does that. <laughs> Hard to work when you can't find your keys, right? Can't even spell it. Because if I work my fingers to the bone, I will have bony fingers. <laughs> well, Nez, you end up playing Vegas in three years. We know what happened. Yep. <laughs> because I'm too fat to walk to my car and to suffer the traffic and then get out again. That's a good reason. K-W-O-R, quarter. Work crow. Sorry, can't spell. <laughs> Sorry is a great game. Nez's shirt, Adidas. All I dream about salvation. Is that what it says? All I, all dream is, I dream about salvation. Oh, all I dream is about salvation. Okay, I get that. Because... You're out of toilet paper in the gender fluid bathroom. Oh, is that the reason you quit, Brent? Oh, <laughs> be sorry. Too much chocolate makes me see a ton of squirrels. <laughs> Life should be lived to the unemployment fullness. That's true, Rita. He is not the mafia Amish, maybe, but not mafia. Right? Uh oh, do I have a job? Yes, Dolores. Where's Bobby Miller? I don't know. He quit his job. <laughs> no, he's he's on work release. Workman's comp. He's at the doctor's. I don't know. We'll check on him. I don't work for you. I'm here with your lunch order. <laughs> My ride share partner since 1990 quit, so I got fired. My boss was not tolerant of me only coming every other day. <laughs> Because I'm married and she cashes the checks. That's why you quit. Because the boss is a jerk. What can I say? The magic eight ball told me to after a hundred times asking. Okay. I quit so they would fire me. They wouldn't fire me. That's that's right. Let's see. I quit so they wouldn't. Because I am too old to be a runaway model. No, Brent, you're not. You still have it in you, man. Age is not is is all up here, Brent. Continue your runaway modeling. <laughs> Who's your run? Who are you running away from, <laughs> Mister Model? Because I wasn't in charge on the first day, right? Because of Uber. <laughs> because I hate kids and don't like ch children's church. <laughs> oh. I am a millennial. My job is to stand here and drink coffee, right? Because 
let's see because i was tired of riding in the trunk to get there my supervisor was a massive jerk and secret pig oh kristen <laughs> i'm a runaway model at o <laughs> oh runway <laughs> at o'hare airport <laughs> That's funny. You deserve a laugh, Dave. You are right. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because there is height requirements for that desk, I didn't like being told what to do every day. I prefer waiting for my stimulus check. <laughs> and going to the beach when I want to. <laughs> Welcome to the new America, Tracy. Because I was overqualified. <laughs> right. Men say a sexist pig. I meant to say he was a sexist pig. They didn't understand my sudden outrage <laughs> due to PMS. <laughs> That's a good reason to quit. Shame on them. Mickey Mouse was mean <laughs> to me. <laughs> I had to chip with the donuts. Chip in with the donuts. <laughs> no elevator, of course. Because the president said I could get paid staying home. Because I work for the IRS and you all are auditing me now. Because they weren't all vegan. Right. The quarantine 50 left me <laughs> with no pants to wear. The quarantine. <laughs> I was too nice to yell at everyone, so I send in my resignation. I need to go home and pack. I need to stay rapture ready. <laughs> you know, I know people that do that. I'm serious. We have some great friends. They're good people. But they are, they have stuff ready for the rapture. Like, so their neighbors can find some food. It's not for them. It's for their neighbors. They had packs and packs of stuff. I mean, I, I envy people who ha really take this extremely serious. I need... <laughs> the phone system kept w waking me up. <laughs> I was tired of counting all the toothpicks and straws. <laughs> Couldn't operate the copy machine, therefore I ran out of money. Hey guys, let me just tell you this. This is this is a warning for everyone. A few days ago, you know, my daughter filed her taxes. To this day, she haven't got her return. She's 20. She filed taxes, her and my son. They have not received their return yet. Well, three days ago, I got an email that looks so good it's from the irs it says from the irs actually a couple of the links takes you to the irs i mean whoever did that was brilliant so they said your return is you, you know we're ready to send you a return we just need the account to put it in and stupid naz gave them my daughter's social security number her birth date and her credit card. Today, they sucked over $1,500 from her bank account. I called Bank of America, and they refunded it. They they said two of the transactions they caught, the third one, uh, they're still, they said if they don't block it, they're going to stop, it. they're going to uh, refund her the money. But watch out. This guy was from Holland, really brilliant, brilliant thieves that are doing this i mean i was in that mode where carol was telling me dad i'm going i'm going back to school where's my refund and boom a few minutes later she sent me this email said look i got this from the irs i never thought of like the irs would never send you an email they don't send you emails so i looked at it and i thought it was and i felt my bad but uh be careful, people. If anybody said the IRS or all that, be very careful. All right. Oh, no. Yes. There's scam artists. There are. 
Those are great neighbors, except should they have shared Jesus? They do. They share Jesus with people. They're very good people, good Christians. Couldn't sleep on the job. Oh, you can, that's, that's a good reason. I kept the flowers instead of delivering them. <laughs> oh, no. Need to tell their neighbors about Jesus instead of so they rupture too. Well, that's one way to love the neighbor with that food left for them. Uh, everybody, when I showed up for work, the people kept wanting drugs. <laughs> oh, no, Debbie. I need to go to jail. <laughs> Less stress there. Couldn't reason you quit your job. Couldn't operate the copy machine. Therefore, I ran out of money. All right, time to tell those scammers about Jesus, and he has a wonderful plan for their life in the next three years. Right? My daughter's account, Carol's account, was hacked. I tell your parents to delete the scam artist. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, I'm serious, truly. IRS don't do that only in the mail. That's right, Frank. Nope, they send you arrest warrant. <laughs> my boss is flirting with my cupcakes. <laughs> That's a good reason to quit. Or social security, be careful. Right. I ate the pizza instead. What? It was a long drive and I was hungry. <laughs> I, I charged the guy $300,000 off the cash register instead of charging 30 cents for the cup of coffee. I don't speak Italian. I know large, medium, and small. Okay, I get it. Starbucks let you go. Got tired. Let's see. This is, oh, come on. Facebook, don't do that. I only, I was only 10 years old at the time. Let's see what happened. Okay, I don't speak Italian, huh? Yeah. Got tired of telling people about their expired car <laughs> warranty. <laughs> you are funny, Jenna. Oh, wow. Is Carol okay? Yeah, she's fine. She she haven't lost anything. And I was willing to pay it because it was my mistake. IRS does not mail you refund checks are late this year. A relative and I just received Wowers. So thankful BFA resolved the issue for you. They did. They were good. My coworker are bit team players. Second are to cliche and <laughs> immature. Uh, I bought a rapture dress. Trouble is, once I wear the dress, I can't be returned. It can't be returned. <laughs> Just keep the receipt, just in case God changes his mind, Rita. I quit. Nobody's paying ransom money. <laughs> I kept howling in the moon and wanting to bite my coworkers. That is funny. All right, it is time for the. I prefer to work alone, really alone. All right, people, it is time for the game. My biological clock is needing batteries. I quit. <laughs> That's a good reason. <laughs> All right, it's time for the Guinness Book of World Record. If you're new to us, we will read you. Today's national day of blueberry popsicles. Blueberry popsicles are the national uh, day. For Chase Bank has been good to me now. Someone stole my identity and they refunded what was stolen from me. That's good. That's good. Yeah, B of A has always been good. I did get raptured. Can you see? I was returned. <laughs> All right. My supervisor was a jerk at team meetings and made me a button of his of this sea cast joked a button of his sea cast joked I don't get that Kristen I think Siri is not spelling correctly <laughs> a button of his sickest jokes sexiest jokes <laughs> really <laughs> man Okay, so if you're new to us, this is what we do. We're going to read you something from the Guinness Book of World Record, and you have to make three guesses to win. And if you get the closest number to the correct number, you win this beautiful toilet paper. It's wonderful. Now, if you don't like to win toilet paper and you want to go to Vegas, I have a friend named Mr. May. 
I think in the next three years he's able to give you four days and three nights at any resort you want. All right, so here's a question. The most blueberries eaten in one minute was achieved by Holly Latsky from Canada in Toronto, Canada. Holly wanted to do the impossible and show how people can improve and set harder goals. Harley claims it took a lot of determination and practice to achieve this record. How many blueberries did he eat in one minute? Over 100, under 500 in one minute. Over 100, under 500. Give me a three guesses and let's see. I'm a bad text to... <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I guess it has to do with blueberries. That's why you quit. Butt of his sexual... Oh, the butt of his sexual jokes. I get it. I think other correct has been getting to Christian's answer right. Lori, Lori Herman, welcome back. Funny, I ate frozen wild blueberries for dinner tonight. You should have. It's blueberry popsicle day. I didn't know it was a holiday. It is. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm a tie. <laughs> Christian is having a problem with the spelling today. Lori said 449. Christian Carver said 433. Or that's the typo either, Christian. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Becky said 111, 357, 298. Brent said 101, 21, 444. Sarah, 102, 122, and 222. Naz, I have an idea. Whoever wins gets free vitamins. No, thank you. I can't do that. 235, 154, 302. Becky Ottenberry said 145, 192, 222. Jenna said 498. Frank, 253, 54, 25. <laughs> okay, the rooster and Ruby the red hen would love some of those blueberries. They're getting fat off our show. Lori, thank you, Naz. I'm in Minnesota tonight. You're in Minnesota. Have a great time in Minnesota. That's awesome. It's not cold. This is a good time to visit Minnesota. 101, 223, and 317 for Dolores. Jenna said 498, 367, and 333. Becky Vo said, I had blueberries with some other fruit today. Guess I should have made popsicles, right? And by the way, this one has some raisins, not blueberries. But hey, that will work for me at least. <laughs> 305 for Christian Carver. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Better get that IRS address, right? <laughs> Christian, try texting with other hand. <laughs> Catherine said 123, 245, and 231. Christian, 499. Rita, 255, 355, 445. Cherie said, I kept getting so-called IRS calls, so I answered the next time they called. As the radio station told them they were on live, and to answer the question, the radio audience was waiting for his answer. There was a dead silence and they hang up. Yep. If I did not win, I quit. <laughs> no hurricane in Minnesota. That's right. 110 for Tracy O'Neill. Lori said it was chilly and rainy tonight. It has been an adventure. Lots of blueberries here in the Twin Cities. Awesome. Enjoy it. Anyone see Lily? I need digits. <laughs> Lily is in the at the cove i think all righty are you guys remember it's 9 19 we missed the 9 15 hydrate and share all 87 people drink some water and share this show all right i quit because spell check sent me a nasty note to the boss oh no beverly how about a free three-year car warranty if they win? <laughs> sure. Sold. Okay. Here's the answer, people. The most blueberries eaten in one minute is 126 blueberries. The winner, the closest was Catherine Allen, even though with 123, even though Sarah said 122 and she was winning until the last minute. But Catherine, here you go. Enjoy this wonderful toilet paper. It comes with a free car warranty for three years. And after that, you can go to Vegas. Catherine, may I copy you? Too late, buddy. 
You all have a good night. I have youth event this weekend. Oh, may God be with you. I'll be praying for you. Youth event. Is that all 126? Well, it's one minute. I mean, that was like two, two a minute, two a second. Too late, Michael. <laughs> sure. I copy Catherine. It's too late. She said 123. You didn't copy her right. I'm having a conversion and need the energy to convert to become a devout Christian at work. <laughs> right. Get some of my vitamins. That will work. All righty. It's 920. We have three minutes. So give me. I need a song that has the word pumpkin spice in it. All right. A, w a song or a title or a movie title with the word pumpkin spice. Alrighty, give me a song. Congrats, y'all. Yep, yep, yep. A song or a movie title with the word pumpkin spice in it. I really need that, need that TP. Too late, brother. Too late. I gave you reasons why you shouldn't be needing it. I was so close and I was hoping to trade for chocolate instead. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll never fall for pumpkin spice again. <laughs> Good job. As the punk, pumpkin spice turns, <laughs> it turns on you. After you drink it, it turns. I'm going to Vegas on the 22nd of September. You'll have one this fine. <laughs> you have one this fine, TP. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my two pumpkin spices. You lost that pumpkin spice feeling. Uh... It's the great pumpkin spice Charlie Brown. Oh, good. Thank you all. You Thank you. Congrats, Catherine. Man, rain, freeze on Yeetis. <laughs> Never fall in pumpkin spice again. <laughs> Christian. Man. <laughs> Ned, if you really can't find my address, I'll resend it. Please do. Take this pumpkin spice and shove it. It's going to burn. <laughs> the sound of pumpkin spice. <laughs> Die hard pumpkin spice. The sound of pumpkin spice. It's a small pumpkin spice after all. What pumpkin spice got to do with it? All right. The pumpkin spice girls. <laughs> Good. I hate to stop you at this, but you light up my pumpkin spice life. I hate to stop you, but it is time to pray, and we have a lot of people to pray for. So, uh, main ones are uh, Stella, the three-year-old. She's going back to Portland. She's back in Portland right now for more checks about uh, the lump in her spines, and also... They're asking for prayer for her brother, the 12-year-old. They still don't know what's going on. He's going back for testings. And just uh, keep this family in your prayer. And also pray for Comedian Bone. He's I, I haven't heard much, but I heard he has heart issues and liver issues. So keep him in prayer. Uh, also pray for the Afghani people that's coming to the U.S. that God will... Surround them with believers who will be able to show them the love of Jesus and tell them the true, uh, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Because most of them never heard the re the real gospel and who Jesus truly is. So keep them in prayer. Uh, okay, let's see. Who else needs prayer? Let me pray for you guys. Some of you need prayer. Oh yes, yes, yes. Big prayer, my friend, Pastor Dudley Rutherford, who I was on his show, his daughter is eight months pregnant with COVID, blood clots, and pneumonia. And what they are forced right now to deliver the baby because 
she is on blood thinners and that's going to be very difficult to have a natural birth so anyway keep her in prayer and keep the family in prayer pastor dudley's family and his daughter and uh, also who else needs prayer let me know please i would love to pray for you call me americans and innocent people left in afghanistan yes pray for the pray for the west coast to get some rain and put out the wildfires yes pray for the firefighters pray for the people who has homes and businesses in the line of fire or in that direction of the fire pray that it would quit all right praying for that pastor's daughter and baby thank you our teenager and her parents still in hospital oh frank we're praying for your teenager all right i saw the pastor's video so heartbreaking thank you becky yes yes for the love of god for afghanistan yes we will Ness, can you pray for me in two days i have lost two friends oh godly men who made an impact on we'll be praying for for you i will we'll pray for you michael more gigs for nance thank you so much yes for the fires in california my knee is almost back to normal praise god becky still a tiny bit of nerve damage left we'll be praying for you yes let's see jenna said i am a teacher and finally back with my kids please pray that covid does not take over again and they have to go back online learning yes we're praying that covid will get out of the schools and that delta variant is out and everything will be back to normal she just had twins this morning all went well oh alan tell me more who was that who was that that had twins i didn't read that but i'll be praying and spoken prayer for sarah prayer for pastor rutherford's family thank you beverly for the families here in Tennessee that lost their children and families in the floods here. That's right. Also for New Orleans and New Jersey. New Jersey had flooding and storm. Please. Praying for this whole world. That's right. Young people overdosing on fentanyl. That's true, Tracy. Oh, opiums and opiates. Really bad. Prayers for the weekend youth retreat mentioned. All right. For a family, the dog family, they lost with a brother and sons, their children in the flood field. That's right. Also for New Orleans and New Jersey. That's right. Oh, I we need a lot of prayer. And there's a lot of people hurting. A lot of people, because of the pandemic and because of the quarantining, they got hooked on drugs and alcohol. We pray for those. Pray for Matthew Dirk's... Uh, Remy, his grandchild that was born at three and a half pounds, he's growing now. Continue to pray for him and the family. Thank you for the show, Naz. Life with Naz really does make a difference. For salvation for our leaders in the world, amen. For Pastor Dudley's daughter, right? Praying for everyone. Yes, thank you, guys. I love this. I love this show. This is a community of people that pray for one another and for. We laughed for 53 minutes. And now it's uh, prayer time. And I know we'll be, we'll be with you tomorrow night. And then we're off on Labor Day. So Labor Day we will not be here. And then we'll join you Tuesday. And Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. we are having our uh, podcast. Guys, we're doing good with our podcast. Our numbers are up. We're number 30. We were 22. So that's still good. That's great for stand-up comedy podcast. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm having Dr. Malay, the one I was telling you about the, the vitamins. And if you do want to do the, try the vitamins, go to, my, uh, go to that link that I put earlier and really get it at discounted price. These are like, you know, the, like the Nordstrom of vitamins. They're not, they're not the basic ones you can get anywhere. So if that's what you want to do, please do. Uh, take you know use the link and uh, just want to continue to pray for you guys and we'll see you tomorrow night god willing thank you guys so much and i will see you god willing tomorrow night good night everyone thank you <laughs>